Hey, this is Mike. Just got in a 2015 Jeep Cherokee, and this is uh, the color is granite. And um, there's a little bit of difference here between this one and the the 14, but um, really this one's pretty well equipped. So we'll go ahead and show you all the features here. Here in the front, you've got your you've got your running lights, and then your headlights there, and then down below is your fog lights. Does have the aluminum wheels and it does have the here's the key so it has the uh, proximity key so basically I can walk up to it and open up the door without uh, using the key I'll show you that in a second because first of all I want to go ahead and start it up using a remote start Show you how to open up the tailgate here. Just had the automatic lift gate, and there's the back. Somebody's already put the net in place. And look at there, little Jeep thing, little Jeep hooks. I don't remember seeing those in the 14s. There's the back. This lifts up, and you have um, the storage system here. And then this lifts up, and you've got a spare tire. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the spare tire is an option on some of the models. So you want to, if you're purchasing one of these, uh, check and see if it does have a spare tire. It does. If it if it doesn't come with a spare tire, it'll come with a like a a tire pump and and stuff like that. But you know, just kind of keep that in mind that spare tires are optional on a lot of vehicles now. So now I want to close the tailgate, so the lift gate here, I can use the key here, or I can push this button. So I'm going to go ahead and push that button. And you'll notice right here, the backup camera lens is right there. And this is a latitude package, um, it's kind of, kind of like a medium package here but as far as entering the vehicle without the key is still locked um, and the key I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in my pocket from the rest of the video and I could just walk up put my hand here and everything unlocks if I want to relock the vehicle I can just push this button like so I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it again and I'm going to go start back here. Now this one has the cloth seats. Has a stitching and a couple different patterns here, but it's pretty sharp looking. Here's the inside of the door. We've got some stitching here and like a, a wood. I don't know if that's real wood or not, but it's um, kind of has some grain there. This folds down. You've got an armrest and cup holders. Got a 110 outlet there. There's a strap. You pull that, and this will unlock. Let's see, we'll try that again. Yeah, it's supposed to kind of pull forward by itself, but it's not really doing it 100%. And this will fold down. If this seat was up, then this will fold down all the way, and you'd have a flat surface to load up stuff. And you can fold down either side. It's like what they call a 60-40 split to where you can have some passenger room and some cargo room if you need that. And one more thing I want to mention. Uh, these seats will slide forward and back. So it's kind of hard to do with, with one hand. But um, you can see it has this, this right here. And you can slide it forward to give you more. Uh, it's not going to give you any more leg room, but it's going to give you more cargo space. Alright, so here's the inside of the front door, and we've got your door lock controls, window controls, the side mirror controls, and you got like a metal looking plastic knob there. Of course, I'm assuming it's plastic, I can't really tell, it's soft feeling. 
does have a power seat. It has the automatic headlight option. And I'm gonna go ahead and hop in. All right, since I use the auto, the remote start, um, I still have to push this button to kind of turn everything on. And the fan's kind of blowing, so I'm gonna turn that down. All right. So here's the inside. Now I made a video with the stop start feature and I'll put a link to it in the description or somewhere so that way you can go over there and check it out because it's pretty neat when you it's it's kind of strange but it's kind of neat at the same time and basically when your air conditioner's off and all that stuff and you're driving along with your seatbelt fastened uh, and you're driving then you stop at a stoplight for more than a second it'll go ahead and turn the engine off as long as your foot is on the brake as soon as you let go of the brake, starts right. I mean, immediately starts right back up, and before you can even put your foot on the gas, you're already going again. So it's kind of, I guess, to you know, super save gas, especially if you're in a situation where you're stopping for long periods of time, maybe long traffic lights or something. I guess that would be, um, you know, saving you a pretty significant amount of gas. But the steering wheel, leather wrapped, stitched, looks sharp, looks feels good nice Jeep design and you see a whole bunch of buttons here but um, on the back on the right right side you've got a volume button can't really get the camera back there but you can feel it back here you can turn the volume up and down on the left side you can change to the stations so I'll turn the volume down so there's some buttons on the back buttons on the front this is your cruise control as long as you turn it on where it says cruise control ready you can go and set it and all that good stuff on the left side you've got the Bluetooth answer your phone hang up your phone and this is the voice recognition button here to where you can push it and say call so-and-so or tune to a specific channel and it, the voice recognition it trains to your voice so it takes a little bit of um, patience with it at, at first it's not that bad. I mean, it works pretty good. You just want to speak clearly. These buttons correspond to this menu system here in the middle of the gauges. All right, so I'm going to kind of scroll through. And you see that now that I'm kind of scrolling up and down. But right now, I'm in vehicle info where it's showing the tire pressure. I'm going to scroll to the right, and then I see a bunch of temperatures and pressures. And then back to the tire pressure, and I'm going to scroll down. Use your average fuel economy, trips. It says stop, start, not ready, cabin cooling or heating. So basically, if the heater or the air conditioner is on, the stop, start feature will not work. There's your audio, messages, screen setup, and then there's your digital speedometer. Of course, you do have a regular speedometer too. And then you see your, um, your gauges to the right and left. There's your your fuel gauge right here and then this is your temperature uh, of the engine this is your uh, temperature outside and then the uh, end at the top right is your digital compass right now I'm facing north there's your normal controls there now right in here first of all this is kind of a storage pocket pretty deep has some space in there this is your 8.4 Uconnect system. It has the icons across the bottom. You start with the radio. This one has satellite radio for a full year. Uh, free when you purchase a new vehicle. The media, this is where you'd access your USB drive. And this one has two listed, auxiliary input and Bluetooth and SD cards. I'll show you where all those are at in a second. Controls, um, you can control your auto dim mirror you also can go into settings and and change all kinds of different cool stuff in there climate this is your your full climate controls you do have the redundant buttons down here and for convenience but you can control your fan speed and stuff like that temperature phone this is where you pair your cell phone 
and once you pair it you'll be able to see your recent calls your phone book it'll show your uh, your signal strength your battery life all kinds of cool stuff on there it makes it easier to make phone calls safely while you're driving another thing is right here where it says transfer if you're in a call and all of a sudden the call starts getting serious and you got other people in the car you, you can push that button transfer it to your phone and you can pick up your phone and just start it start talking through your phone so that's a neat feature you connect apps this is where you can you register for you connect and then there's different apps that you can that you can use now um, if it says via mobile that means that you're using the data from your phone so you want to be careful with that make sure you're not going over your specific data package all right so down here we have uh, your normal volume button tune your through your stations your fan speed and all that stuff you can turn your screen off by pushing this button and you turn it back on either way traction control is right here you can turn that off the default is on this is where you can turn that start stop feature off manually and that way you don't never does it as long as that's on like that all right now down here you see some pockets and stuff but you also see USB input auxiliary input and SD card so that way you can put music on those um, those media sources and plug them in there and play music off of those like an SD card or USB can I mean it can hold thousands of songs so it's pretty neat you got a power supply there to charge stuff a little pocket there there's your shifter now I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse and you see there's the backup camera now one thing I noticed it doesn't have the lines in the, in the on the screen uh, that gives you an estimated trajectory of the vehicle it's just an open camera and um, and it looks like it's a pretty wide angle view but not quite as wide angle as some of the other ones but um, it does give you a pretty clear picture though. And it's pretty neat right now. You got the sun up here and good picture. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it down on drive to show you something. Cause there's normal drive. You see up there it says drive and down here it says drive. Now if I put it over like that, now I'm in first gear and it says a one at the top there. And I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda bump it down and it says it two, so I can manually change to the gears. Now it is an eight-speed transmission. Like I kept bumping it, I went all up to eight, you know, eighth gear. And I don't know if you can actually, if it will allow you to start off in eighth gear, but um, it is supposedly um, like a manual type uh, transmission there. So I'm gonna put it back in drive, and then back in park. All right, so right here is your electronic parking brake. Now, if you are got the door open or if the door is not all the way closed and you try to move the vehicle, it will automatically engage. So, you know, don't be alarmed if you try to move the vehicle and then it just stops. Cup holders, little pocket for a pen or something. Here's your armrest. This opens up and you've got a nice big pocket and there's your other USB input. And you've got your charger in there, a place to put some change. Now, it has two little handles um what do you call those two little buttons and the top one is your top storage compartment which is a small place i guess to put like a tablet or a cell phone and has places where cords can run in and out glove compartment is massive it goes way back there There's your auto dim rear view mirror. This is your assist button in 911. In order to register your uh, Uconnect apps, you push assist and follow the instructions on the screen and you can register. Right here is where you got your lights, place to put your shades. Now it's rubberized in there, not foam. Garage door controls are here. You've got a mirror with lights. Same thing on that side. See what it looks like back there. See what the seats look like. Now this one has the store storage underneath the seat, which is pretty cool. You can hide stuff in there. All right, 
let's look under the hood little storage pocket right here now let's see if I can there we go the latch is right here just to the right all right this one has the um, I think it's 3.2 liter v6 with the VVT plenty of power I think it's got not that far away from 200 horsepower I mean 300 horsepower that's a lot of horsepower in a little vehicle like this where you can get up and go when you need to there's your battery it's covered in a blanket everything's color coded under here the yellow and is the stuff that you would check yourself but anyway if you have any questions uh, I'll try to find out the answers if I can just leave the questions in the comments or send me an email which will be in the description see you next time